Pop Squat. Boom! And at ya. Hey everybody, I went to the zoo today! Hooray! It was fun. Uh, Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle is uh, much bigger than I thought it was. Uh, I guess I'd only been there once before, <laughs> and it was with some friends because some other friends had gone to South Africa to get married, because that's where they were from, and a bunch of us who were in our 20s and 30s at the time couldn't afford to fly to South Africa, so we instead we went to the zoo and took pictures in our nice, uh, what we would have worn... <laughs> <laughs> to the actual wedding had we been able to go and then we took pictures as if we were on a safari you know south africa ha 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 funny um but it was it was a really kind of a fun thing and, and the couple who got married loved it um <laughs> that, that was a fun day uh but that was a long time that was like 15 years ago something like that and uh this was the first time i'd been back to the zoo since and it's way bigger than I thought. Go to your zoos. Go. It's summer. Go have fun. Go to a zoo. It's it's so cool. And I'm not a big fan of having animals in non-natural environments, but at this point, zoos are, for the most part, animals that never existed in the wild and couldn't exist in the wild anymore. And, um, yes, that sucks. Flat out. Absolutely sucks. I think zoos, uh, when they were originally created were evil and horrible things, but over time they have improved greatly, and there is still room for improvement, so don't get me wrong. Um, and you can tell the animals are not fully happy there, but some of them are okay. Um, and I know many zookeepers and, and people who take care of animals, and they love the animals, so I'm certain they're taken care of as well as possible. We are going to listen to some BTS today because I didn't get a chance to do it last week and I felt really bad because I had planned to and then I just got too busy. Uh, so to make up for that, I am so, I was like, that was full on Wisconsin, Canada accent there. Uh, to make up for that, I'm going to do the proof live. Uh, and I had not seen how this was set up, but it's really funky. I mean, I just kind of looked at it uh, in this image and then advanced a little ways to make sure the, the microphone was set at a good level and um, I didn't realize that they were just performing out in the middle of nowhere at least that's what it looks like and I, I don't know what this setup whole, all was and I haven't read up on it I remember when it happened it was only a couple months ago June 13th and a um, couple months ago it was June July a month ago and people have said this is an amazing concert. Uh, I really like their stuff, so I'm totally down for it. I feel really bad for them being out in the desert in June in clothes like this in the direct sun. That does not sound like fun to me. Uh, but I don't really have anything else to add. So let's just jump in here, see how it goes. I know there's a little bit of dead air in the beginning and they do their little intro. And, uh, again, I don't know all of them by sight. Uh, I know RM. Uh, I'm trying to spot Sugar here, and I can't... Uh, I think I see him. Um, and I just hope this is really good, because people have said it's just a fantastic concert. And I'm excited to hear it. So, let's go. If you're not here for BTS, don't watch. If you love BTS, please do watch. Happy to have you. I hope I have something interesting to say during all of this because I don't I don't even know what the track list is. Uh, maybe I'll pull up a, a search window and look through and see what everything is that's getting played. Let's go. Here we go. 25 minutes long, so I'll try not to talk too much. The American Southwest. I'm a person... And that is a really cool setup. Okay, so let's take a look at this quick. So we've got the track here for the camera to go around, and it can circle all the way around them. They're banned in the background, and they're banned the last time I heard them um, on that Tiny Desk, NPR Tiny Desk concert, was amazing. So I'm hoping these are the same guys. I assume it probably is. And, uh, yeah, look at this. No crew in sight. Everybody is tucked away, probably behind the camera where we're seeing. But I'm going to try and keep an eye out to see if they really stay out of camera shot, because that would be super impressive to do on what's clearly a 360-degree stage here. So, uh, let's keep going. Yeah, 
나만 있었던 채 그를 여분 앞에 있어 So the sound, especially on his voice, it's a little indistinct, and I don't know if it's how he's holding his mic, but it just sounds a little muted, which isn't isn't great. Uh, I'm certainly not going to give him a hard time for his singing because he's right on the beat, like he's doing great. Uh, this song is Born Singer. I found the list of songs, and uh, let's just keep going here. I am very curious as to how the rest of this is going to sound. <laughs> Now we're going to have ads during this, of course, so I will try and skip them, but I still haven't signed up for, for ad blocker So that may just be the quality of all of these microphones and how this was recorded because uh, his his mic is also just a little dampened. Like it's just not as sharp as I want it to be to hear their voices come through clearly, which kind of stinks. <laughs> So I actually really like that lyric. I, I like that lyric a lot. And, and it doesn't surprise me at all that these guys are singing about this. That he's saying, uh, I, having to prove my, I was scared, uh, I said I'm all that, but proving myself. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What if I can't live up to the world's expectations? Yeah, it, it, absolutely. Th this is smart stuff for 20, 30 year old guys to be talking about because they do have a lot of pressure on them. And it's it, it always is remarkable to me when they are as aware of the place that they hold in popular culture, popular music, I'm sure also especially South Korean music and Korean identity in general. And it's really, it's incredible that they talk about this stuff and sing about it and they let people know and it doesn't, it's not just their own stuff that they're singing about, they're singing about anybody who's out there doing something in the world and can they live up to expectations so people can identify with it. Fantastic, super smart people. Oh. 
Okay, his mic is spot on. He comes through perfectly, and man, what a voice. Him too. I love that these, it looks like they're sitting on like high school desk chairs <laughs> out in the middle of the desert. It's just such a weird image. <laughs> Cool place. Uh, so the next song is Yet to Come. And I have reacted to Yet to Come, and it was very good. Uh, and <clears throat> people have told me my interpretation was pretty close to accurate, that they're basically saying, here's the end of one chapter, and we're going to take a break, and we're going to something is going to come after this and i don't know if they know what that is i, I hope they do um, maybe it's a bunch of solar careers maybe it's going to be solar careers and doing stuff still as bts i can't imagine bts as a group is going to go away or or what do they change their entire style and feel and look and uh, they really can do anything they can write their own ticket they can reinvent themselves entirely and they're going to lose some people, but they're going to gain people, too, because it's going to be new and different and cool, and these guys absolutely know what they're doing, and this song I know is very good. Just a great group on that. Oh, 
I think that part right there is probably my favorite. I'm gonna back up a little bit. This. And so that's Anderson Pack on the drums, apparently. And is that his real hair? Because that looks like a wig. I don't know anything about Anderson Pack, but uh, I mean, I know some of his music, and it's great. Um, but that hair does not look real to me. So this is only three songs. And we're going to get another ad. Which? That's fine. Um, and I'm confused as to how this is 25 minutes long if it's only three songs unless this next song is like an incredibly long song which could be um oh that's another ad so let me take a look over here they did yet to come the most beautiful one and for you so i don't know if for you is super long or if something comes after it but let's see back to the video Okay, guys, please give a warm welcome to our dearly special guest, Anderson. Anderson. Hey, come here, come here. Come right here. What's up? Kaja. 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 Stage special, Anderson. Chicha? Thanks to you, Chicha. So can you tell us about uh, your first impressions of Yet To Come? Um, how did it sound to you? I love it. It's like, it reminds me of church. It's great. It's Chincha Chua. Church. It's fantastic. You, fantastic. Thank you. You being here for us really means a lot to you. Uh, what made this amazing collab possible was that we've been seeing each other lately. We're at the Grammys together. We went to each other's concerts lately. It was... It was um, my son, because he's a big fan. Oh, yeah? Woo. He made me a fan. And then ever <laughs> since, I've been obsessed. I've been Army ever since. Thank and you. And then we just kept running into each other. Grammys, the show. It's been great. Thanks to Junior Pack. Yeah. <laughs> Junior Pack. So was she. Shout out to Soul. <laughs> so, um, the Silk Sonic concert, we've all been there. Um, it was... You liked it? It was marvelous. Yeah. What did you Silk Sonic concert. What did you say? it. Boom. Let's go. Boom. It was Boom. amazing. Yeah. It was uh, hey. Yeah. It was legendary. I like your yeah. pants. <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, it's, it's been fun, man. You guys had the Vegas show too, right? Uh, yes. Oh man, yes, I can't sir. wait to see it. Thanks. I know that was incredible. Thanks again for your taking some time today. Appreciate you guys, uh, man. So our fans will love this premiere. Now we should let. Uh, this legend, go since he's probably one of the busiest people no, I don't in America go. these days. Anya, Anya? Anya? we go to Vegas. <laughs> we go to Vegas. Nah, thank, thank, you, thank, you so thank you so much, man. Come on, thank you, man. Come on, thank you. Come on, Pacquiao. Thank you, thank you. Come on. I really, and I know I'm not alone in this, but I really love seeing any musicians talk to either other musicians or their fans and like actually be themselves and this is certainly not 100 percent them being themselves they know they're on stage they know they're giving a performance they're in the middle of a performance they have probably well definitely over time millions and millions and millions if not billions of people who are going to be watching this and so they know they have to be sort of on right but you can tell these guys really do like each other and they're all walking around hugging each other and saying hello and they probably don't get to spend a lot of time just chewing the fat and talking and doing normal stuff and so when they have people that they can do that with it's most likely going to be either family members crew members or other artists that they work with and yeah, you, you're going to form relationships with those people, especially if you do actually get along. If you don't get along, then, you know, if we never see Anderson Pack do anything again with BTS, they probably didn't really get along all that well. But I, who knows, I don't know that for sure. Um, it, I just love to see this. I love it. And they all seem so 
completely genuine and like such good people. <laughs> that hair, that can't be real hair, really? Yeah. My brother. I love you, bro. It's very <laughs> shiny. <laughs> See you. So the color scheme for this is actually really interesting too because they're, they're all in very pastel colors and it really, really matches everything in the desert. And I can only assume that was on purpose, that they wanted them to look... I mean, there's a little more blue, I mean, other than the sky. There's a little more blue on their outfits than normally in the desert. Like, there's not water in the desert, but the sky certainly, they look like they are part of the desert. It's a really cool little detail that I don't... I'm sure the people who dressed them were very well aware of, and they had decisions to make about what are the what are the guys going to wear. They're going to wear the desert. How cool is that? Wow, so they formed in 2013 and didn't perform their, uh, if I'm reading this right, didn't perform their first concert in, until June of 2013 until October of 2014. So that year and a half-ish they probably just worked together and performed and wrote and performed and performed and performed. Wow. 이제 저희의 이제 최고의 순간의 시작이 아닌가. 네, 그렇게 생각이 듭니다. 2013년 6월 12일 저희 쇼케이스 한 날. A lot of days in June. 킹콩 빌딩 지하. 네, 네. 네. 일지하 돌. 맞죠? 네, 기억납니다. 네, 저는 그게 요즘 많이 기억나요. The King Kong building. 저는 뭐 여러 순간들이 있었지만 역시 뭐 저희끼리 얘기할 때 항상 이제 최조는 하고 해보고 은퇴해야 되지 않겠냐 그런 말 많이 했어요. 그쵸. 그래서 화영이나 아마 에필로그였나 그때 최초로 그 최조 경기장 공연을 했던 그 날이 어또 최고의 순간 하나 중 아니었나 그렇게 생각합니다. 예. Yeah. 어뭐저 같은 경우는 이제 옛날에 이제 정국이가 울어 하면 울 때. 아, 그 최고의 순간인 거야. 그 최고의 순간이 아니었나. 아, 이게 최고의 순간이야? 10년 차가 되면서 그게 최고의 순간이 아니야. 아주 정말. 근데 얘 변했어. 소박하고 좋네요. 원래 <웃음> 이제 <웃음> 이젠 다시는 못 보여. 아, 사람 변해. 사람 변해요. 안 변하면 사람. 당연하지. 나만 변해. 제가 뽑은 최고의 순간은 뭐 여러 가지 최고의 순간이 있겠지만, 어 제가 이 회사에 들어온 날. 오. 어, 그때 기점으로 이제 바뀌었죠 미래가. 어 그래요. 제가 있기에 이 비테스가 있는 거라고 생각하기 때문에. 꼭 <웃음> 내보내주세요. 이것만 내보내주세요. 질문 같아요. 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. 에, 제가 뽑은 최고의 순간은 뭐딱 하나만 뽑으라 했지만 전 정말 매 순간 순간이 정말 최고의 순간이지 않나 아, 라는 생각을 마지막이라. 하고 있습니다. 마지막이니까. 아자 이렇게 얘기하다 보니까 정말 저희가 많은 순간들을 함께 하긴 한것 같습니다. 참 감회가 새롭지 않습니까 여러분? 그렇죠. 그렇죠. 저 뭐. 네, 뭐제 고등학생 아 고등학교 졸업식 때뭐 형들 뭐 와주고 뭐 형들 수능 볼때 외모들 막 도시락 싸고 그랬던 기억이 아 지금도 막 그런 하네요 한데 그죠 그죠 그래도 뭐 지금의 저희의 모습이 어된 우리 서로에게 좀더 자랑스러워도 될것 같습니다 아 그렇습니다 네. 자랑스럽나요 네 자, 모두 모두 고생 많았고요 앞으로도 굉장히 많이 뭔가 티될 테니까요 예 네. 우리 같이 좀더뭐 고생 한번 해보 해보자고요 아, 네. 네. 그럼요 네뭐 아, 최고의 아, 순간은 영원히 안올수 있을 것 같아요 뭐좀 오글거리게 뭐 들릴지 몰라도 오예 운영을 꽉 채운 활동 기간 동안 저 멤버들 또 팬분들의 소중함을 깨닫게 됐고 함께 있다면 매일매일이 또 새로운 최고의 순간이지 않을까 네, 그렇게 생각을 하는데 어쨌든 뭐 그건 그거고. 아, 각자 한번 박수 한번 쳐줍시다. 박수! 아, 박수! 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 네, 어, 이번 무대를 준비한 데에는 단순히 여러분께 곡을 들려드리고 싶은 마음뿐만 아니라 오래도록 고민해온 것들을 아미분들께 허심탄회하게 얘기하고 싶은 기회를 마련하고 싶었습니다. 
온 이후로 이제 코로나를 맞이하고 그 이후 2년 동안 어, 저에게도 아무 이분들에게도 참 많은 변화가 있지 않았습니까? 생각지 못한 일들을 많이 벌였던 그쵸. 것 같아요. 참 그쵸. 많은 일들이 있었네요. 그렇죠. 뭐 지금에서 와서 말할 수 있는 거지만 2020년부터 지금까지 저희가 했던 많은 것들이 아, 미리 계획된 것은 전혀 아니었고요. 하나도 없었어. 네. 진짜 계획대로 한게 하나도 없었어. 어, 지구도 마찬가지야. 그러니까 그때 그때 고민하고 결정해가면서 한 되게 갑작스러운 것들이 예, 많았어요. 유동적인 것들이 많았는데 또 이렇게 걸어가면서도 사실 뭐 이게 맞나 좀 무섭기도 하고. So this is actually also super interesting to me because people haven't really talked publicly about how much had to change so quickly when COVID hit and was becoming a real thing <laughs> everywhere but the U.S. because Trump said it was just going to clear up one day because he's a moron. Um, but uh, I work uh, or have worked in the role-playing game, tabletop gaming industry for a long time, and I was thinking about all the things that had to stop because there weren't going to be any gaming conventions, just gaming conventions, because that, that was the area I was interested in. And there are small little regional conventions in the U.S., there is a handful of really large conventions, uh, Gen Con, Origins, the PAX shows, um, and then you've got things like Comic Con and all the different comic conventions that, that happen. New York City uh, Comic Con International in San Diego that's going on right this weekend. Um, <clears throat> but all that stuff had to disappear. So none of those products were getting moved around to shows. None of those truck drivers were getting hired. None of the union guys to set up the convention halls were getting hired or had to be to work. Like all of this, all the people who work concession stands, no work. I, like. It's incredible the number of things that had to change and shut down, and what they're telling us is we had to play it by ear, and that's what everybody had to do, and it is incredible that people were able to change so quickly, and they said they started working on things that they didn't have any idea they were going to be working on, because everything went out the window, and it was useless now, and they had to do other things, and... I mean, even this concert is is kind of an unusual one because they're sitting here alone in the desert, with surrounded by their crew to perform this, and I think this must have been simulcast and and obviously recorded to be played later, and it's it, it's amazing. And this is now whatever two years after COVID first hit, and they're still dealing with the outfall from that or the fallout from that, and it's and we all are, and it's great that they talk about it because this is not just something that affected them although it did but it's another connection that we all have with them and they they don't just ignore it and gloss over it and they they address it and it's fantastic i just they show a level of professionalism and wisdom and good personness that is really remarkable 어떤 게 정답인지 고민들이 어도 많이 늘어나지 않았나 그런 생각이 듭니다. 많이 아, 고생했다고 아, 고생하셨습니다. 다시 한번 말씀드려 주시고 아, 굉장히 고생하셨습니다. 고생하셨습니다. 네, 맞습니다. 사실 오늘 활동할 때까지만 해도 갑자기 이제 음악 방송에 팬분들이 오실 수 없게 <웃음> 어, 되고 어, 그게 이렇게까지 어려운 상황으로 이제 바뀌게 될지 몰랐잖아요, 저희들이. 맞습니다. 우리가 또 투어할 수 없는 상황이라는 걸 알았을 때 우리 그 기억 나시죠? 아, 굉장히 우리, 기억나죠. 우리가 가지고 암담해하고 그랬었는데. 아. 이제 조금만 기다리면 어, 코로나도 끝나고 음흠. 바로 투어를 돌수 있을 줄 알고 기다렸는데 이제 그게 2년이 이렇게 넘게 걸릴 줄 아무도 몰랐잖아요. 3 개월쯤 할수 있지 않을까요? 3 개월쯤 공연할 수 있지 않을까 이런. 그 정말 그 아무것도 모르는 상황에서 이제 뭘 할까 네. 이제 저희끼리 이제 고민도 하고 회사도 고민하다가 이제 그렇게 나온 게 다이너마이트잖아요. 그렇죠. 네, 뭐 코로나 시기를 우리 식대로 한번 넘겨보자 했던 oh, 어, 그런 I like Dynamite. I thought that was a fun song. 다음에 다음 여러 선택으로 또 이어졌죠. 또 다이너마이트가 정말 이름처럼 그렇게 터질 줄도 <웃음> 몰랐죠. 네. <웃음> 네, 아미 분들한테 정말 참 감사드리고 또 다이너마이트가 예상에 이렇게 사랑을 받았던 것또 어, 사실이지만 어, 거기에만 집중해서 어, 똑같은 걸 계속하는 아티스트가 되고 싶지는 않았던 것 같아요. 네. 그래서 오히려 예상을 뒤엎고 저희 감정을 오롯이 담은 그런 B 앨범을 또 내게 되었고 방탄소년단 다 왔던 좀 선택이 아니었나라는 생각이 듭니다. 안전한 길을 좀 가는 것보다 그래도 저희가 하고 싶은 이야기를 했던 게 뭔가 저희다운 게 아닌가라는 생각도 들고요. 네. 
네, 아, 근데 또뭐 또 너무 이제 팬데믹, 이제 코로나에 지친 이제 일상들에 대한 위로 이런 말들을 좀 오래 하다 보니까 이제는 뭐 생각을 많이 안 하고 그냥 즐길 수 있는 이제 음악을 들려드려야겠다라고 생각을 하고 이제 버터랑 퍼미션 투 댄스를 이제 발표하게 되었죠. 네. So that's also a fantastic peek behind the minds of artists. They recognize that sometimes their music needs to be meaningful. Uh, which was the whole album B, I think they would just mentioned. And sometimes they just need their music to be fun and to let people relax and have a good time and dance and whatever. And a lot of the music I listen to on this channel is very much in the first category of like personal, very real, very honest. And you will never go wrong making that sort of music because it will speak to someone. It, it it just automatically will, and the fact that these guys are smart enough that they know, hey, we can make the music that allows us to speak ourselves, our truth to the to our fans and to the rest of the world, but we can also just make fun music, and there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's it's because of the way they do it. They know they're doing it to kind of give people a break. You have to be able to just relax sometimes. And like I said, these guys are really incredibly good business people and fantastic creators, not not singers. Like, they know what they're doing. They are artists. They've figured it out. They know what they want to communicate, and they know why they're communicating what they are when they make a song. What what is this song for? What's its purpose? I love it. I love how how um, just aware they all are of the process of making their music. 맞습니다. 어 그냥 같이 이제 흥얼거리면서 춤추고 모두 함께하자 이제 그렇게 한 해를 또 보냈었죠. 네, 또 2년 지나고 AMA에서 이제 관객 앞에서 공연했을 때 그리고 또 뭐. 콘서트를 오프라인으로 다시 하고 또 아미들의 에너지를 온몸으로 느꼈을 때 2년간의 모든 고민들과 아쉬움들이 다시 이렇게 내려가는 것 같았습니다. 맞습니다. 맞는 것 같아요. 이게 내가 좋아한 일이었지 하면서 뭔가 좀 보상받은 느낌 뭐 그런 게 있죠. 그렇죠, 아, 그렇죠. 정확하죠. 네, 네 뭐, 온라인이나 오프라인이나 저희 사랑해주고 응원해주신 분들께 뭐 좋은 음악이나 퍼포먼스로 보답해드린다는 건 되게 좋은 일이긴 한데 확실히 직접 만나서 좀 에너지를 주고받고 하는 게 저희를 움직이는 또 원동력 아니겠습니까? 그렇죠. 또 이번 투어를 하면서 또 많이 느꼈던 것 같아요. 앞으로도 투어 많이 해서 많은 분들과 교감할 수 있는 그런 시간을 아, 가졌으면 좋겠습니다. 아 물론이겠습니다. So the only other song they're going to do is For You, which must be coming up. 네, next. 저희가 이렇게 또 한번 어, 얘기를 하게 됩니다. I can't imagine we won't have another 뭐, ad soon. 뭐 길게 얘기할 건 없을 것 같고. 어쨌든 지금 저희가 이 라이브를 하는 게 엔솔로지 때문에 하는 거잖아요. 프로프 때문에. 그렇죠, 그렇죠. 그래서 프로프를 어, 왜 내게 됐는지 또뭐 어, 구성 이런 거에 대해서 한번 얘기를 해볼게요. 어, 우리 진영이랑 또 태영이가 약간씩 좀 설명해 주면 좋을 것 같아요. 네, 어, 이 앨범은 저희가 이제 데뷔한 지한 10년 정도 됐으니까 뭐한 번씩 뭔가 이렇게 우리가 냈던 것들을 한번 정리하고 가자는 느낌에서 어, 이렇게, 이렇게 묶어서 내기도 했고 또. 어뭐 굉장히 좋은 그, 곡들이 많이 담겨 있으니까 그 좋은 곡들을 한번 몰아서 어, 한 번쯤 들어 주셨으면 좋겠다 하는 마음에서 낸 그런 것도 있죠. 그리고 자세히 보면은 이제 그 앨범 속에 저희의 이제 미국계 작업곡들이 아, 되게 많아요. 데모 노래. 이제 거기에서 저희의 추억들, 저희의 이제 작업했던 순간들을 조금 한번 뒤돌아보고 그리고 저희의 이제 페이지 1장의 마무리를 한번 해 보자라는 음. 이제 분위기로 그렇게 해서 저희의 뭐 앨범을 만들었던 것 같습니다. 그래서 보면 구성이 좀 재밌어요. 뭐 CD도 세 개고 어, 정말 많은 곡들이 들어가 있는데 또이 구성이나 이런 것들이 또 어떻게 되게 됐는지 또 멤버들이 얘기해 주면 좋을 것 같아요. 참 이게 구성을 짜다 보니까 아무래도 이 곡들이 너무 많잖아요. 그러다 보니까 어, 이제 많... CD가 세 장이 되더라고요. <웃음> <웃음> 구성을 하다 보니까 그러다 보니까 이제 CD 뭐한 장은 이제 BTS의 일대기를 담은 그런. 어, 그렇죠. 타이틀 곡들이 네. 쭉 나열되어 있고 또 CD 한 장은 또 이제 멤버들에게 하고 싶은 그런 이야기들, 뭐 멤버들에 대한 격려 그리고 뭐 리스펙 이런 것들을 또 CD 한 장에 또 담아봤고요. 또 나머지 CD에는 이제 또 방탄소년단에게 빠질 수 없는 거는 이제 팬분 아미 
팬분들이잖아요. 예, 그래서 그 팬분들에 대한 사랑, 뭐 그리고 또 우리 미공개곡도 말 그대로 수록이 되어 있고 부끄럽긴 한데 예, 우리의 청춘을 만들어줘 우리 아미 여러분들께 바치는 그런 곡도 예, 들어가 있는 그런 CD로 구성을 해봤습니다. 예. 되게 재밌어하면서 들으실 것 같아요. 네, 추억이 <웃음> 담긴 곡들이 좀 많이 있으니까요. 저가 이게 제... 참. 하세요. 정우 씨 얘기하세요. 아, 아, 정우 그때 제 목소리를 다시 듣고 참 한번 놀랬다고요? 아, 그 그거 모르는 거 놀랐어요. 그런, 네. 그런 재미가 있지. 어, 다 그런 재미가 있는 거고. 이제는 말할 수 있다. 어, 이런 느낌으로. 아, 어, 그리고 또 이제 뭔가 저희들이 이게 발표한 곡들이 워낙 많다 보니까 이거 추리는 데도 굉장히 좀 시간이 많이 걸렸어요. 맞아요. 그래서 저는 뭐딴걸 떠나가지고 그 저도 어떠한 이 아티스트에 관심이 가지게 되면 이 처음 앨범부터 듣기가 사실 좀 힘들거든요. 아, 어렵지. 그 모든 곡을 듣기가 힘든데 우리 정말 액기스만 모아놓은 정말 약간 어. 하나 약간 입문서 음. 약간 이런 아, 이제, 가이드, 가이드, 가이드 가이드 입문서 가이드? 이거대로 따라오시면 BTS에 대해서 어느 정도 좀 이해가 되실 겁니다 를 아, 에센셜 같은 거 약간 네. 좀 보여줄 수 있는 게 기본서 지침서 같은 느낌이라서 저는 Yeah, I know a lot of people who have issues with like best of albums or essentials lists on Apple Music and I have no problem with them at all because you get what is in theory the best music that a band has produced and what they have chosen to to put out on their best of album and i i have no problem with that because it's all going to be good music and then if you like what you hear you'll dive into individual albums and additional songs and things like that so i think i think best of albums are great and i think that it sounds like they did it exactly the way you're supposed to put out the songs that you're known for that sort of give a a good f- overall flavor of what your band is and the sorts of music that you make and just let people listen to them all in one place great idea 그래서 좀좀더 쉽게 접근할 수 있지 않을까 저희의 모든 것이 좀다 녹여져 있는 앨범이라는 것을 참고하시고 들어 주시면 좋을 것 같고요. 오해가 좀 길어지긴 했는데 아무튼 이제 바로 어 다음 곡인 이제 포 유스로 넘어가는데 이 노래는 이제 말 그대로입니다. 뭐 영포 에버의 뭐 연장선이라면 연장선인데 어 저희의 젊음을 함께 해준 모든 분들께 어 바치는 노래고 뭐팬 당연히 아미들을 포함해서 뭐 우리의 가족들, 친구들 그리고 멤버들, 뭐 회사 분들 모든 분들께 어 바치는 그런 노래라고 할수 있을 것 같아요. 뭐 젊음을 설명... 젊음을 위하여. 그렇죠. 뭐 너무 거창하긴 한데 되게, 한국어로 되게 하니까 건배사 같네. 젊음을 위하여. 네. 그러니까. 뭐 들으시면 어. 바로 또 어떤 느낌이신지 느낌 아니까. 네. 네. So the song is for you, not for, for youth. youth. There, there was, <웃음> must have been a typo. Yeah, for youth. They're saying uh, that's not correct. For you. If I never met you, I'll never the most Great voice. Baby. Very R and B feel. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Love it. Mm. So, this, I love this song. I, I don't even care what the rest of it sounds like, but what I particularly like is when RM comes in after he's singing, and he he's, I don't remember his name, he's singing at a really high note, and then RM comes in low, and it's, it's perfect. It's so good because the two notes next to each other aren't really expected, but they're not really unexpected. But they're, it's just such a great choice, and it gives you a really cool, well, like I said, it kind of gives you like a, or maybe I thought this, like a 1950s doo-wop style, whatever, the Four Seasons, the Platters, all those sorts of guys with because they had a bunch of different voices and ah it's just so good love that mm-hmm. 
전 출발했던 말때 이제 내가 눈겨 It's a new home to me 언제든 돌아볼 테니 Yeah baby don't you worry 우리가 가는 이 길이 모두 다 길이 될 테니 If I never met you 난 어떤 모습을 가 우리의 합발 잊지 못할 모든 순간 All night, all night 책임져준 파워 덕분에 나 다웃 Now we know 해준 너에게 모수한 말 Nice 그게 난 만든 거야 그래 넌 나의 젊음 또 나의 청춘 Go my own bed 내 자랑은 전국 또 love 서방이 감감해지 그 사이 한 줄기 빛 정말 그대였을까요 참 함께 이매 우린 만나자 And I love how all their vocal performances are just a little bit different from each other and it's to match their personalities and it still sounds like it's part of the same It's really a great song Great song. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Love your army. Yeah, so that's the end. Wow, great. That, man, that last song was fantastic. I, I mean, just crazy good. Love that song. I gotta download that song. Uh, love it. I, I mean, big surprise, right? I, they just are really impressive artists. Really impressive. I, and I know there are people who were gonna hate on them just like i was not a fan of them from the first song that i listened to but it, uh, anybody who learns even this much about them is gonna realize like oh really, they've actually got something good to say and even if the music isn't the style of music i like maybe the next song will be because they do vary things up quite a bit they're great they're just really great uh thanks for sticking around all you bts folks army uh i actually don't like the name army because it has the the whole armed forces feeling behind the word. I wish it were a friendlier word. Um, but that's my own issue. Uh, Pop Squad. Chicken out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I'm going to try and do a BTS about once a week if I can't manage that. Uh, I'll uh, do them as often as I can. Um, I just don't want to concentrate on particular groups especially one that's already so so huge but i like their music and so i don't mind listening to it and people seem to enjoy it so i'm i'm there for it so i will happily react to this stuff as long as you guys keep asking for me to do it uh have yourself a good night and a good week and uh there you go pop squat checking out bye bye